There are several classes in the post Ungoro meta that are sporting multiple archetypes. A few of these classes have decks that are very similar in composition, yet distinct in playstyle. Paladin, for instance, has strong aggro and mid-range deck lists. They're both tier 1, their playstyles are distinguishable. However, there are about 24 core cards that overlap between the two archetypes. In the light of this Ungoro theorycrafting trend, we present to you the first of a series of videos which will offer the current state of classes like these. And first up on the chopping block of this series, Priest. Priest in the Year of the Mammoth has been abundant in options, flexibility, playstyle, and archetypes. Yet no single type of priest seems to be settling in as the go-to archetype for the latter. And the way the stronger lists are defining themselves, we're seeing several strong decks that have significant overlap, yet fair distinction. The priest archetype that caught fire after the expansion has come to be known as Purify Priest, or just Silence Priest. The additions of Humongous Razor Leaf, Radiant Elemental, and Shadow Visions brought incredible consistency to an archetype that has always struggled to find what it needed in the right moments. Where opponents previously had to respect the chance of Priest drawing Double Divine Spirit in Inner Fire, the chances of this, or of an even bigger sequence of the combo, are now much more likely thanks to Shadow Visions alone. And with Radiant Elemental, Priest can now spend time fighting its game-winning board state in a tempo-efficient way, rather than playing from the reactive position all game and hoping the opponent will ignore a high health minion. The tempo efficiency of the deck has become so consistent that players have stopped running AoE reactive cards altogether. Holy Nova and Dragonfire Potion have fallen out of Silence Priest, the other priest archetype settling into place is still referred to as Dragon Priest, though it holds few similarities with former iterations of Dragon Priest that held prominence for years of Hearthstone. There are only four dragons in the deck, Twilight Drake, Draken and Operative, Bookworm, and Primordial Drake, and notice that two of these are conditional. Whereas former Dragon Priest styles would have a powerful turn 1, 2, 3, and 4 value plays, the loss of most of these minions has created a vacuum in the early turns. Not surprisingly, in this empty space, the same cards in your average Silence Priest have filled the void. Radiant Elemental, Shadow Visions, Divine Spirit, and Inner Fire. The makeup of the two strongest priest archetypes is similar. Varying by specific list, you'll find between 15 and 20 cards that are the same between the archetypes. And both have added the powerful Ungoro priest legendary Lyra the Sun Shark. Lyra has offered an alternative win condition altogether for priests, such that if tempo is lost or resources are running dry, Lyra can pull off miracle style turns, offering sometimes limitless resource generation with board state impact. The combination of Lyra with Radiant Elemental can turn into a Hearthstone Nightmare world of endless cycle, resource creation, removal, and board development. The impact of Lyra is so strong that the card will probably be found in every single priest deck for the next two years. There are just two high impact differences between the archetypes. The first is the core minions that the decks lean on. In Purify Priest, you're trying to stick Ancient Watcher and Humongous Razor Leaf to advance tempo, perhaps copy it with Faceless Shambler and close out the game. In Dragon Priest, your stickies are Twilight Drake, Draconid Operative, Elise the Trailblazer, and Bookworm. The other and perhaps more significant difference between these archetypes is that the new Dragon Priest functions almost like a control deck. Sporting two copies of Dragonfire Potion, the AoE from Primordial Drake, and the sometimes infinite resource combo of snagging more copies of the Angoro pack from Elise with Shadow Visions, this deck can play from behind and outvalue its opponents. Priest stands as a perfect example of an Ungoro meta class that holds powerful archetypes with similar lists, yet wildly distinct playstyles. This is the first of several we will feature in the upcoming weeks. Be on the lookout for our State of Mage video, which will break down the various archetypes of mage that are in the Theory Crafting Oven right now. And as always, if you enjoyed this video and the series, please leave us a like and join the conversation in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe to stay up to speed with all of Tempo Storm's news and Hearthstone content. Thank you.